How are we all doing? Rob from IGL Machinery. So back with a, another little video on this uh, Makita pruning saw. DC 101. When I first bought this, the bigger model wasn't available. The DUC 150, which comes with a 6 inch bar. I would have bought that, because um, I think 4 inches is fine, but uh, an extra couple of inches is always good. So uh, yeah, we're going to be Converting this from the four inch to the six inch. So we should just undo our cap. Now I've already converted this to um, quarter inch pitch. So uh, I'll be running a different setup to uh, most people with their normal 325 chain. So I'll give this a bit of a blow out. Get it clean. So that's the little six inch bar you need. That's the part number for it there. Now it will say 325 pitch, but it doesn't matter because there's no sprocket on it. It doesn't matter about the pitch. So yeah, with chainsaws, regarding the pitch, it's the sprocket on the end of the bar and the sprocket on your actual saw, which uh, dictates the pitch. Because obviously we haven't got one, we don't need to worry about the the size of the chain, as it were. So yeah, it's uh, 1.1 mil gauge, which is how the distance between the two rails. So we know we know we need a 1.1 mil chain. So if you want to be extra safe and cautious with this. You can buy a new one of these as well and change that out because obviously this one sticks out because obviously that bar is going to stick out further. So I did buy one just to keep the um, health and safety YouTube inspectors off my back. So uh, yeah, I'll probably be, you don't really need to, but just for safety you can put that on. So to get at that, you have to take this little cover off here and there we see if you get any problems with your oil pump here give this a bit of a clean out so that's handy to see in there as well There's your little clip that you need to pop off, so you just get a little, so you can get a tiny little screwdriver in. And just work it off. And we should just be able to now push this little pin out. I think there is a spring in here, so uh need to be careful, make sure. So yeah, the spring's there, look. So that spring will need to come out as well. So yeah, I'm thinking it just goes straight down in there. There's another tab on there, like so. There's a little, you see that little hole down there on the end of my finger? That's what that's got to kind of slot into. Just give that a blow out. So hopefully you just slide that in. We can pop our pin in. It's working fine. Get our little clip on. Good. Cover can go back on. That bit's got to just slot down like that.
and that is the part number for that safety cover. DC is for the 150. Right, so obviously we need our chain. We need a bigger chain. Now obviously I've converted this to quarter inch pitch. The sizes for the links for a quarter inch pitch, 1.1 mil, 043 gauge. Um, this one is 41 links for the six inch bar. And the uh, four inch bar is 33 links. If you uh, wanted to know. So again, just slide the adjuster all the way back. It will automatically lock in, see? And these little tabs pop up. You just need to push them back. Get our side cover on. So your chain stays uh, on the sprocket and in the rails when you're tightening that up. So there we go, full conversion to the 6 inch version. So don't be annoyed if you've bought the DUC 101 and you want the, uh, you'd much prefer the 6 inch because it's uh, cheap enough to do. I think this top plate, this top safety thing, that was about two or three pounds. This bar, again, I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it was around a tenner. So, uh, yeah. And you've just got that little bit, little bit extra long bar, which uh, should make this a bit nicer. The only thing I couldn't get a hold of was uh, one of these, but that'll do for the time being. I'm not too worried about that. I'll pick one up at some point. And uh, yeah, if you need parts, highly recommend chainsaw bars. I've um, dealt with them quite a bit over the past few months. And uh, the bloke there, I think his name's Rob as well. Obviously, he's going to be a top quality guy. But yeah, really good. Great, uh, great service. So check them out. They've got all the parts you need to do any conversions you need. With the chains or whatever. I think I got this from a different place. The actual top cover in the bar. But with all the chains and sprockets. They're really good if you're UK based. And um, chain wise, they didn't have any in stock. So this is a safety chain. It's got the anti kickback little bits here, look, see. Ideally, I wanted a unguarded. This is called guarded. This sort of type chain. I wanted an unguarded chain for this because it cuts a lot better. They didn't have any in stock. So. Uh, I will be getting some of that though, but just for the time being, I've just got this safety chain on. But you don't really need a safety chain on something like this. Unless you don't know what you're doing, obviously, but uh, hopefully it will fit this holder as well. Nope. <laughs> so that's annoying. See how I did by... Uh, by the holder for it as well you can uh, cut on your belt but it doesn't quite fit it's too long it might be because of that so that is a bit annoying I mean it will stay in there I just can't I can't secure the, the thing on I'll probably modify it at some point so it will fit. I'm thinking it's just the overhang here, so I might even just cut that bit off, that plastic bit there. Again, I probably wouldn't have bothered with this black top plastic bit, but, but yeah, considering uh, my videos are public, I wanted to keep it, keep it safe. But yeah, you don't really need to. So yeah, I hope that helps. I'll leave a link to the quarter inch conversion up here, showing you all the bits you need. So take care everyone. Cheers.